Hello, and welcome to the University of Wisconsin-Madison's Department of Computer Sciences informational session. My name is Shelby, and I am one of four undergraduate advisors and program coordinators for the department. The goal for this presentation is to help you all learn more about computer sciences at UW-Madison. During the presentation, I'll highlight the history of the department and current trends in the field before getting into the specifics of major requirements, research, and involvement opportunities and careers. Our department is one of the oldest CS departments in the United States. We were founded in 1964, and in the few years leading up to that, we existed as the Department of Numerical Analysis. Sister Mary Kenneth Keller, pictured here, is one of our most notable alumni. She was one of the first people and the first women to earn a PhD in CS in the United States. The CS department here at UW-Madison is home to a growing number of great faculty. Throughout the department's history, two faculty have received a National Medal of Science and four faculty have won the Association of Computing Machinery's Doctoral Dissertation Award, making us tied with MIT for the most. Our professors are also recognized globally for their research in computer architecture, database systems, distributed and grid computing, nonlinear optimization, and more. The department has over 7,000 alumni all over the world, and our alums are accepted into top graduate programs at many institutions. UW CS alumni have also built or played important roles in the creation of many companies. Some of our alumni have also developed startup companies in the Madison area. Speaking of startups, we always like to highlight Epic, which is a healthcare software company based out of nearby Verona. Its founder and CEO, Judy Faulkner, earned her master's in CS from UW Madison. Judy founded Epic in Madison in 1979 with a mere $70,000 investment. Epic now employs close to 10,000 people and brought in $2.5 billion in revenue in 2016. According to the company, hospitals that use its software hold medical records for 54% of patients in the United States and 2.5% of patients worldwide. Judy Faulkner is also number six on Forbes' list of the richest self-made women in America. The field of computer sciences has developed rapidly since our department was founded, and it's really showing no signs of slowing down. Current hot topics in the field include bioinformatics, cybersecurity, big data, virtual reality, cloud computing, and artificial intelligence. According to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, computer occupations made up 45% of all STEM jobs in 2015, and seven of the 10 largest STEM occupations were computer related. Employment in computer occupations grew 22% from 2009 to 2015, and they're expecting a 12% growth from 2018 to 2028. This is the largest expected growth in all of STEM and amounts to nearly 546,200 new jobs. With such expansive growth in the field comes growth in the number of students studying CS in college. The UWCS department has seen 500% growth since 2013 with 1,800 students being declared CS majors in 2019. To accommodate for this growth, the department has added six new faculty in the past year and plans to add a dozen more over the next few years. There has also been an increase in classroom support with additional TAs and the introduction of undergraduate peer mentors in some classes. The graph in this slide shows the number of bachelor's degrees that UW-Madison has awarded to students with a major in CS. This graph shows over the last 10 academic years, there has been an increase of bachelor's degrees awarded from 93 in 2009 to 2010 to 537 in 2018 to 2019. In September of 2019, the UW established a new school in the College of Letters and Sciences. The School of Computer Data and Information Sciences, or CDIS, was created to support research and education on campus. The school also hopes to create partnerships with industry in order to provide them with the latest technology. Here at UW-Madison, our undergraduate CS major offers a state-of-the-art curriculum that is being continually updated by our faculty. We offer project-oriented coursework in a ton of different areas and additional coursework in things like algorithms, numerical analysis, and optimization. At UW, we pride ourselves in the flexibility that we offer our undergraduate students. Students in the College of Letters and Science, where the CS department is housed, can choose to pursue either a Bachelor of Science or a Bachelor of Arts degree, regardless of which major they are pursuing. It all comes down to personal preference and how a student would like to satisfy their breadth requirements within the degree. Regardless of which degree you choose, your CS major requirements will be exactly the same. 
The flexibility that we offer our students also extends into our CS major curriculum. While some other schools will require their students to choose a specialization within the field for their advanced level coursework, our curriculum allows a student to take coursework in a breadth of areas within the department. All CS students are required to complete a set core of foundational coursework, which includes an intro programming sequence, a course on computer architecture, basic calculus and discrete mathematics, and two additional math courses, usually linear algebra and stats. Much of the flexibility within the major comes from the advanced coursework. Students must complete one theory course, two software hardware classes, one applications class, and two CS electives. Many CS courses are cross-listed with other campus departments, such as engineering, math, and statistics. This makes it very clear to see if courses will count twice for those who are double majoring, and also makes it easier to find courses that revolve around a certain theme. For example, if you are a CS major and also really enjoy math, we may recommend some of the CS courses that are cross-listed with math. All students start their freshman year in different situations, so the four-year plan that you see here is a general guideline. This plan assumes that a student is coming in with little to no programming experience and no AP IB college credit for calculus. As you can see, a student can come into UW-Madison with no head start and can easily finish all major requirements in four years. That being said, some students do come in with credit that can be instantly applied towards the major. A score of a three or higher on the AP Computer Science A exam will give you credit for CS200, Programming 1. A score of a four or higher on the AP Calc AB or BC exams would give you credit for Math 221, Calculus 1, and Math 222, Calculus 2. Other AP IB college credit can also be applied towards general education and breadth requirements. We typically advise that students take no more than two CS classes per semester, as the high level of programming and large semester long projects require a lot of time and dedication. This also leaves space in a student's semester schedule for general education and breadth requirements courses for an additional major or certificate, and elective coursework. There happens to be a lot of overlap between computer engineering and computer sciences at UW-Madison. The graphic here shows how computer engineering grew out of electrical engineering and how computer sciences is a subset of computer engineering. Computer engineering, which is a major in the College of Engineering, can be defined as the study and application of computers, computing, and computer-based systems. Compared to CS, computer engineering places a greater focus on computer hardware. Computer engineering is like building the new iPhone. Computer sciences, housed in the College of Letters and Science, can be defined as the study and application of computation and programming theory. In contrast to computer engineering, CS is more focused on computer software. CS is like programming the operating system and apps that make the new iPhone run. Admission into the College of Engineering works a bit differently than admission into the College of Letters and Science. The Office of Admissions and Recruitment has more details about direct admission into engineering, so please direct questions to them. Many incoming students are curious to know how they can get involved in research on campus. Within the department, students can work with a particular faculty member as part of a senior thesis, a senior honors thesis, or directed study. UW-Madison also has a program called Undergraduate Research Scholars, which allows first and second year students the chance to earn credit for participating in research with a faculty member. CS majors are eligible to earn research credit for doing research with any of the faculty in our department or a number of affiliate faculty across campus. Affiliate faculty are housed in different departments, such as engineering, genetics, and psychology, but do research that is very closely related to CS. It is up to the student to take the initiative to set up a research opportunity. The first step is always to reach out to faculty, so it is important to develop rapport with professors as you work through their courses. Outside of research opportunities, we always like to highlight some of the CS-specific involvement opportunities that our students can take advantage of. WACM is UW-Madison's student chapter of Ackham's Women in Computing. They connect female undergraduate and graduate students in the department through networking events, mentoring, guest speakers, scholarships, and socials. Kappa Eta Kappa is a professional co-ed fraternity for students studying electrical and computer engineering and computer sciences. The Hub and the Undergraduate Projects Lab is a student organization that connects students in the department through events and projects outside the classroom. 
Programming contests and hackathons happen periodically throughout the year and are advertised via student orgs and department-wide email lists. Many of our students choose to study abroad and we are constantly evaluating courses to see if they can transfer back as courses that will satisfy CS major requirements. Because of this, the list of CS friendly study abroad programs continues to grow. CS 402 is a service learning class in which students can go out into the local community and teach young children about computer science. And finally, for students who are interested in helping out their peers, we offer CS 502, a one credit class in which students learn how to be an effective tutor. As part of this class, students staff the Computer Sciences Learning Center, which is a free tutoring service for the intro programming sequence courses. Outside of the classroom, UW-Madison offers numerous opportunities to develop and prepare students for life after graduation. LNS SuccessWorks and Engineering Career Services are two career advising offices that CS students can visit. Career advisors in these offices help students polish their resumes, prepare for interviews, and connect with employers. They can also help students determine exactly what it is they should pursue after their time on campus. The Department of Computer Sciences, the College of Engineering, and LNS SuccessWorks all host career fairs at different points in the academic year. People all over the world understand the value of a UW-Madison degree, so these career fairs are where hundreds of companies come to recruit our students. The career advising offices mentioned will also host career fair prep sessions, so students are ready to put their best foot forward at these fairs. Handshake, an internship and job research database, is also a great resource for students. Handshake will serve as a one-stop shop for students and career advising offices. And finally, for students who would like an in-depth guidance on their career development, LNS SuccessWorks runs a one-credit career prep course called Career Development and Taking Initiative. In this course, students will write a resume and cover letter, explore internships and career possibilities, make connections with UW alumni, build a network of professors, TAs, alumni, and peers, and develop strategies to stand out during the job search process. This class is perfect for second year students, but is open to all undergraduates at any level. The job placement outlook is positive for UWCS undergraduates. In a recent survey, we found that almost 82% of our students were planning on working full-time after graduation, while almost 14% would be heading straight into grad school. The national average starting salary for students graduating with a CS major is over 65,000, and the national average salary range for CS jobs requiring a bachelor's degree is between 80 to $100,000. Graduates of the UW CS department work for companies all over the world, but some notable companies that recent graduates have been headed to include Amazon, Epic, Facebook, Google, IBM, Intel, and many more. Those of us in the Department of Computer Sciences would like to thank you for listening to this session. Our contact information and social media handles are included or can be found on the CS website, so please stay connected with us in On Wisconsin.